Yo, what is up guys so we're back here for another video and today we're gonna be customizing this new car here and it is the albany v str and uh yeah we're definitely gonna be customizing this car right here you know giving it a good test drive and uh we'll get right to it so before we actually start like customizing the car i also wanted to mention that um within the next two weeks i think if you play on gta online there is potential that you could get two million dollars it's for everybody in the game oh double rewards on deadline okay okay this is gonna be fun i'm definitely gonna be playing some of these double reward modes but besides the fact um for one week um between today and like next thursday you play once on gta online you're guaranteed a million dollars of a week after that if you play at least once once again you will get another million dollars so that is a free two million dollars so i'm just letting you guys know about that but uh, other than that, let's just get right back to it. We're going to be customizing the car. So yeah, guys, I apologize for any background noise, but the Albany VSTR is obviously in Legendary Motorsports. And we're going to go ahead and buy it and then customize it, of course. So we got it right here, and it looks really, really dope. I'm not going to lie, the red color looks really nice on it. So we're probably going to go red with this car. It is 1.285 mil. So um, compared to some of the other cars I've been releasing, um, it is a little, just a little bit cheaper. But um, I think this is a luxury sedan. Yeah, luxury sedan. So um, this is not a sports car. I'm pretty sure it's just like one of those sedan cars. But it's a really nice one. But it is 1.2 mil. And obviously, we're going to go ahead and customize it. All right, so we got the Albany VSTR right here. And we're going to go ahead and pull it out. Um, it looks really, really dope. I forgot the car name in real life. I think it's uh, Cadillac. In real life, I'm pretty sure the um, brand of the car is Cadillac, but I'm not sure which model of the car it is. But right off the top, man, I have not seen this in Ann Carnival. Oh, it's a sports car. All right, all right. I see. Never mind. I thought it was just like one of those luxury um, sedan cars, like the um, I forgot the name to it, but oh, uh, there's a couple of cars that look similar to this. Well, not that similar, but. Um, they're definitely luxury sedans, but they're not considered sports. They're just considered sedans, but, um, that's besides the fact. I mean, this is a sports, so we're gonna give it a, you know, real quick test drive on this base without fully, you know, customizing it. So right off the bat, its acceleration isn't that fast. Um, it is a sports, so I don't expect too much from it. I think, um, this is more or less gonna be more of a collector's car, you know. I don't think people are gonna use it because it's the best sports car or because it's really that good in performance. I feel like it just looks really, really dope. I love the way it looks, but I'm just not sure if it's really gonna be uh, a performance car that people are gonna want. Its overall performance is decent. I don't think it's gonna be a car that you're gonna wanna use in sports car races. Um, there's better cars, of course, but uh, we're definitely gonna be customizing it and um, this car might be the one to keep for the looks mainly. Performance is probably not a factor you want to take in if you want to keep this car. So we are finished customizing the VSTR, obviously, and right here we got it. It's looking really, really dope. I just kept the wheels on stock. I just thought the wheels were really cool. And obviously, there's a couple of hints of uh, silver or chrome, I would say, around the car. So that's why I wanted to keep the wheels. But the underglow is red. The overall color of the car is red. And I just love the look on this car. It's really, really dope. And uh, performance-wise, it got a lot better, a lot more better. The acceleration seems to be faster, but it does have a lot of wheel spin obviously and here we go yeah it has quite a bit of wheel spin but it has a lot better acceleration top speed obviously got faster overall i think it's a really really good car 
um in terms of looks but performance i don't think is the best car to use for sports car races if you're trying to win them it's performance wise it just does not you know compete against all the other you know sports cars that completely dominate like the pariah which is a sports car but is literally the fastest car in the game um in terms of regular normal cars if we're talking about like rocket powered cars like the vigilante that's that's a whole different topic i would say this car is worth it in terms of looks i feel like it is worth 1.2 mil it looks really really dope its performance is fairly okay um decent you know good at best um, it is not great, um, uh, it's definitely not gonna be that usable in sports car races, there are better sports cars, like the Pariah, that just dominate sports car races and stuff, I mean, it has decent traction, decent handling, decent, it's just an overall decent car, I would say, it's definitely not worth the performance, if you guys are looking for a sports car that can perform very, very good, and you're looking to buy one, don't buy this sports car, there are a couple of sports cars that are way better than this, um, around the same price range maybe a little bit expensive maybe a little bit less but uh this is like the middle of the pack when it comes to sports cars in terms of performance but in terms of look i'm definitely saying that this is if not one of the best if not the best sports cars in terms of looks that i have seen in a while but uh that's really it for this video guys hope you guys did enjoy and uh see you guys in the next one peace